This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the world to the world. The tanks have been on parade in the big cities to give a boost to production speed up. At the London Mansion House, they were started off by the Lord Mayor. May their progress throughout the country be an inspiration to every patriot to work with ever greater energy and to send these armoured machines on their way to victory. The officer commanding these tanks is Major Barker. It was his waltzing Matildas that smashed Italian resistance when the Empire armies went from Saloum to Benghazi. Everyone in Britain and the Empire can help the tank campaign, either with work or money. It's nice to see them in London, but oh boy, let's see them in Berlin. I'll give you Major Barker's voice as he broadcasts from inside the tank. Lieutenant Harris in Edinburgh, tank advance. That was how the tank commander in London gave the advance to tanks in Scotland. And when tanks and baths, you can bet that there'll always be Scotsmen aboard. Now we're going south again for another tank parade. This time we have some old friends in the picture, or rather some young friends. They're the famous St. Neots Quads, Anne, Paul, Ernest and Michael Miles. They had the mayor there to greet them. But Anne hadn't seen a mayor before and she wanted to know what Father Christmas was doing out in the summer. I hope you'll notice that they've all got their gas masks. The famous four made it a real afternoon. They'll be the envy of millions. All the working of the tanks was explained to them, and they were allowed to do everything but drive them. Michael's looking for Mussolini. The supreme moment, the start up, and the drive through the town. And the quads were having the most thrilling ride that any boy or girl could have today. Here's a tip for the tank campaign that we might get from the quads family. Let's surprise everybody by having four where we only expected one. 